Hello internet friends and welcome to another little episode where I look at some logs for APM Copter. Um, this question has come from uh, a fellow by the name of Brandon Brown. Uh, he's having a problem with his barometer, getting it to hold altitude properly. It sounds like he's only just started tuning this copter because um, he talks about um, it not being stable enough to fly and also look at Mission Planner yet um, and all the settings are apparently in stock. Uh, he says it bounces up and down spontaneously and he's already replaced the, uh, the foam covering the barometer. So let's jump into having a look at the logs. Um, first thing I noticed before we jump in is that um, you may have an issue with the voltage going to your board. Um, the uh, auto analysis says here that the, uh, the voltage difference is almost half a volt, which is pretty large. You know, I don't think it'll be related to this problem, but you might want to look at that um, lest you have issues down the track. I can look at the barometer itself and if we uh, we graph that here um, there seems to be a lot of really rapid changes in uh, in barometer altitude. So I'll just... So if we look at say like a 10 second period um, you can see here we're getting jumps from you know two and a half to to one and a half to three meters to three and a half meters and then back down. It's sort of all over the place, um, which makes me think that either the problem is that the copter is getting hit with prop wash um, from the propellers and the, the air is just buffeting against the sensor, causing it to think that it's jumping up and down, um, or that there's actually uh, a lot of vibrations on the copter and the copter is, is then interpreting that as uh, altitude gain and altitude loss. Um, so, to give you a bit of a comparison, here's a log from uh, from my my uh, hexacopter, and it's this is also over about a, a 10 second period. Or if I punch in a bit more here, this will be over a 10 second period, and you can see that it's it's much less um, uh, much less dramatic in the changes. So we've got sort of three, three and a half, three, three and a half, two, three and a half. Um, whereas here you're, you're jumping by almost a meter and a half in, you know, a second. Um, so it's much more, uh, I think it's vibration is, is what I'm uh, leading towards. So to troubleshoot this a bit further, um, what you want to do is um, change your log bit mask parameter. So at the moment, the log bit, uh, bit mask parameter is set to, I think it's like 800 and something, yeah, 894. Um, there's a handy little tool you can use, which is this Excel sheet, uh, which lets you calculate uh, your log bit mask. I'd recommend setting it to this, 9214. Um, that will give you logging of uh, all of this data, and the most important one is the IMU data, which is this one, and the IMU will let you troubleshoot uh, vibrations. So um, if you can switch on IMU logging by changing your bit mask and then do another flight and then post that log, um, we can have a look and see if it is a vibration issue or if it's something else. Once you know it's a vibration problem, then you can you can address that. Um, if you want to also post some pictures of how you've got the APM mounted to the copter and where it sits relative to the propellers and, and a bit of you know overview shot so we can see how it's designed, that would also help as well. Um, hope this helps. Uh, I'll also put some links below to this log bit mask calculator and some info on troubleshooting vibrations with logs. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much.